you don't want to stock, stop when it's docking. It's just, you know how it is. CBT guitar lesson for Colton breaking the chains. Um, first song I ever heard from docking. And uh, one of the early rock metal videos on MTV. Remember it like it was yesterday, man. So let's uh, jump in. It's standard tuning. It's actually a tiny bit flat from that. Coming in at uh, zero seconds in. Section 1A. It's uh, power chord 7-9-A-D twice to 5-7 twice. Now the rest are going to use slides, but that first one at the beginning each time doesn't do that. Four open E's, palm muted. Then 5-7 AD twice, slide to 3-5. And then strum the 3-5 when you get there. So, Colton, keep the pressure when you're sliding, right? Because you do, if you don't, you're not going to hear the target for that slide. Four open E's, palm muted. And then we reverse that. Start, so it's E5. D5, C5, these are all power chords. And then we'll go off the C5, reverse that process two times, strum that, slide it to 5-7, strum it once, four open E's palm muted. 5-7 twice, slide to 7-9, strum the 7-9, four open E's palm muted. So that's the first time through. Um, there's an overdub guitar where he's doing the, the octave 7A, muted D and 9G. So you want to mute the D string with this finger and with this finger or whatever finger you use, make sure you're muting the B because he's doing some string mutes and uh, you got to make sure you got all the bases covered. I'm also muting string six so we don't get this, you know what I mean? So we're going to A through G, slide to 9-11 and then you'll see double dots. It'll be 9-A, 11-G and then string mutes down up times four. So it's this. Looks easy, but if you're not used to doing it. Right? Same thing, but on 10, 12 AG. Same thing, but on 12, 14 AG. And then go up to 14, 16 AG, hit it once. And then he does this. Wait, it's here. Check it out. Um, 16G, so we gotta switch fingers, right? Because we're going. 17B twice, 19E once. And then whammy bar. And you'll see the W with the whammy bar swoops. Okay. Um, then section 1A, this comes in at, well the octaves come in at 8 seconds, and then at 16 seconds in it's the beginning of the song again. But it's different, okay? The, it starts the same, so you'll have the... And then second time no star, which is the last four opens. Okay, you'll stop at the 7-9, which is the E5 power chord, and you'll see the continuation in your tabs. You'll slide that, you'll go. So you'll slide it and you'll go to this G chord. 3E, muted A, 3B, and 3E. Strum all six. 2E, muted A, open D and G. So it's up to 5-7 AD. And you'll continue the progression, you know what I mean? You'll go. Okay, then the top of page three. So, second line down, page three. You'll see the four openings palm muted into the five seven AD twice. Quick rest up to 7 9, 5 7, 3 5 to 2 5. Lynch uses these, I call them flatted power chords. Um, so I'd probably go pinky so you're not stuck having to do that. 3 5 to 2 5, A and D. Open 2 AD. Open 2 3, D, G, and B. 
So it's. So let's break that down. It's the same G chord we used earlier. And then we're going to do a bass note walk down on the low E string. 3 2 open. And then 7 9 AD to 7 7 AD. Short rest back to 7 9. So it's. Palm mute the A string on the open and the second fret. And that walks you up to a C5 power chord, 3 5 AD. Open E. And then this again. Palm mute the open E, open and second. Into the G major, do the 3 2 open walk down. This again. And then the A string, open A, 2 A palm muted to the 3 5 AD power chord, the C5. 5 7. And then. And that's D, E, 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 5, 7 to 7, 9, three times. Let me play the whole part. Okay, and you have a series of repeats. The next new part is the pre-chorus, section three. Two minutes in, and it's. Seven nine nine A D and G. Move that to five seven seven, and then three five five with opens on the bottom. A lot of people miss that, but it's in there. And then 355, 577, 799. And you do that a second time. Okay, and then the part uh, you've been waiting for the solo. Actually, the soul song. Just really good, solid for learning palm muting, power chords. Um, George's easiest solo, but it's catchy. Um, 215 in, it's 11 G half step bend. And then you're gonna release it and do another half step bend. So it's. And then pick the 11, pre bend half step, and do all that again. And then release it this time. And then 11 9 G, 10 D, that's down up down. Vibrato, so we have. Ten D nine eleven G and that's down up down. Okay, you'll go eight ten ten on the B vibrato after that. So it's two twenty one. We got this. Oops. Oh, that's twice through. I'm wanting to do more. Seven E on the B go ten eight and then seven B hammer eight pull seven hammer eight nine G two twenty three twelve B down up it's a fourteen E half step bend that's a down stroke you'll go oops half step. And then pick the 14, half step, 14, half step, release, 12, hammer 14, pull 12, 13B vibrato slide. So you have. Okay, it's kind of like a little rake arpeggio sweep. 977 D, G, and B. 810B, 7E, so it's. And you could down pick all that. 
eight seven B nine G vibrato. So it's two thirty seventeenth fret high E. Whole step bend, you'll go. Oops. So check this out. You're gonna bend it a whole step, drop it a half. And you're going to do that again one, two, three and a half times and then release it so it's Make sense? It's tricky if you're not used to bending. You got to go from the whole step to the half step so it's not really coming back till the very end on the release. Fifteen pull to fourteen on the E and B. Fourteen E to sixteen G vibrato. That's up down. So you have. Two thirty five fret nineteen on the high E. It's a step and a half bend. You're bending it to this. You'll go. And then bring it down, and then we're gonna go. Oops. Very cool. 1720E, this is alternate picked. 1917BE, so you have. It's not that fast, he's going. On the B, you go 2019 17 vibrato. So. 239 fret 22 on the high E bend and you'll hold it and pick again so and then pick vibrato and then we're gonna go tw on the E string the rest of the solos on the E all right so um, 2019 17 pick the 17 again hammer 19 pull 17 slide 15 it's so it's fifteen pick, hammer seventeen, pull fifteen, slide to twelve. And he'll slide it. And then as he's sliding, you get down here around fret five, take the edge of your pick, and just tap the twelve and slide it off. It's not a big deal if you just want to go. That's fine too. All right, there's nothing really new except a little turnaround at 320. You're going to be doing section two, which was, hold on here. What is section two? Section two is the chorus. So there's no star. So you're going to go. go and start it over it's so you do the whole thing just kidding all right Colton Another one, dude. And I'm really, uh, didn't know you liked docking. But then again, you know, if you've heard them and you don't, there's something wrong with you. So you're all right, dude. All right, thanks.